This was the moment the Bibby Stockholm docked at Portland Port at around 8am this morning, having started the journey from Falmouth Harbour yesterday, where it was being refurbished. The reception from residents and campaigners on this warm, overcast morning was mixed. Answer to your question, I do GP. not feel safe. You need to and ask this County We don't support the barge. We don't think it should be on Portland. It's the wrong place for it to be. We're totally in support of the refugees. Others highly critical of the deal between the Home Office and Portland Port. They have done this deal without any consultation or any thought for the potential fallout. You're talking about a very small community here, very much reliant on tourism. None of the businesses we approached today were willing to be interviewed on camera over concerns about repercussions. But customers here at the Beehive Cafe had plenty to say. We can't actually cope with another 500 people here. We just can't. And like I said, if the big cities are saying no, like Liverpool and London, because they don't have the infrastructure, how the hell can Portland? It's polarised a lot of the community. It's brought in um, people who are very fundamental on both sides. It makes me cry. I mean, I, I was talking to somebody this morning, and these, these, are, these are real. I'm really concerned that these, these guys, for, for, what, for whatever reason, have been victimised. They've been called rapists, they've been called thieves. People are saying, well, lock up your, your children. We're, we're not going to be coming here on holiday. We're not, you know, we're selling our house all kinds of really extreme things. The Home Office says it needs to act because there are currently around 51,000 asylum seekers in hotels, costing the taxpayer £6 million a day. The impact it'll have on this small island remains to be seen. Michelle Cross, BBC South Today, on Portland.